and it's done by Hey, 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 there we go, fireworks. This is the, the F1 headquarters in Las Vegas, however you call this. Look, this is crazy. And to think they only have five more months or to November to finish this. That's crazy. Let's fast forward to November. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? How are you? Wow. Look at this, guys. Wow. Wow. Jeez. All right, guys. And if there's any ladies in here, ladies, I'm going to have a lot of wow moments, especially in the beginning of this video. So uh, just a little heads up on that. Wow. This is still the headquarter area later in the evening. I'm just fascinated looking at this, at the progression, at the speed and precision of what they're doing here. This is amazing, guys. Wow, wow. this is the, the get it done town, huh? This is crazy how they able to pull this off so quickly. Wow. Amazing. Just amazing. You know, I hate to break it to y'all, especially those locals who live here. Please, uh, thank you for uh, putting up with this, but looking at this, guys, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere within uh, three years or some people are speculating it's one and done, but there's no way it's gonna be one and done. Look at this, there's no way. This F1 headquarters, this is pretty much the start and end point to the F1 racing. And this is where all the pit stops will be made. And uh, yeah, here's a little aerial shot to give you a better idea of this uh, situation here. Crazy, this was just an empty lot one year ago. All right, before I race through this track going 220 miles per hour, I gotta show you a couple things. First is this one. This is Flamingo Road going away from the strip towards Koval, Koval, Koval. And this is a temporary road bridge that they just built and uh, I'd rather not go on top of it for now, but check it out. Wow, look at this guys. Jeez, all this bridge right here just for a, wow. This is beautiful Vegas sunrise as you see down there, but uh, let me show you another angle. They're also building temporary pedestrian bridges as well. Wow, look at this. And then while I'm at it, I gotta show you this. It just looks crazy when you see it in person, especially early morning like this. Wow. A few more seconds of the, uh, the spear view here before we get into the full track mode. Uh, hang in there. My drive, I mean, uh, my race around the track will be about 85%, 90% accurate of the official track. This is the official track. It'll be 3.8 miles. The race is 50 laps and cars will be flying up to 220 miles per hour. And I'm just guessing one lap will average maybe one minute and 45 seconds. So this is the paddock. This is where it starts the race, huh? Like right here, maybe? Cause that's the paddock. That's the uh, headquarters right there. So let's go, ready? Oh, this is a straightaway, guys. Uh, Ellis Island, they're having a sale. They, they're they like, hey, we're gonna reduce the prices and they have a nice little grandstand here at Ellis Island. I think for $1,200, you get uh, grandstand tickets for 1200 now. They drop the prices. Let's go. Alright, I'll stop. Alright, let's start the race. Ready? Three, two, one.
official track goes around the spear, but unfortunately that road is closed, so we have to do an impromptu style and make the best out of the situation. Alright, hopefully you enjoyed this ride, uh, but check this out guys, I think the biggest winner of all this F1 racing event will be Ellis Island here. I know a lot of people know Ellis Island, they're infamous for their steak and egg specials and some of the other stuff, but uh, there's a lot of people out there who don't know Ellis Island who will be introduced to Ellis Island because of this event. And uh, check it out guys, for those who don't know, it is a place you should consider if you're looking for bargain eats that's delicious, especially for the price. Wow, I'm impressed. This is crazy. Let's ease it out. Come on. Let's taste this. It smells like crane wings because I don't think they sauce it up. They come out dry like this, but you could tell right away this is going to be tasty. And you have the side sauce here. This is blue cheese. You could tell right away this is legit stuff. Right away. I'm, I'm, right away. I'm not a big beer guy, but they do brew their own beers here. Wow. That's good. All right. Let it melt a little bit, a little butter action. If you're pregnant and craving fried pickles, well, here you go. Wait, if you're pregnant, you shouldn't be in Vegas. And check this out. Check this out. It's still blazing hot. Oh, it's hot. Oof. This is a must. That's one of my favorite $25 meals in Las Vegas. Ooh wee. Oh boy, this uh, F1 racing video is turning into a commercial for Ellis Island. I assure you, I'm not sponsored or endorsed by them. I wish. Uh, I'm just giving you a heads up, if you're looking for some bargain eats close to the strip, this is a place you ought to look into.
Plus, the casino here offers very friendly table games. For example, they offer 3 to 2 blackjack. That's 5 to $10 minimum. So if you have a budget of two to three hundred dollars, you could bring it here and have some fun. But yeah, if you're still looking for last minute F1 tickets, I think this might be your answer. For one tenth the price, I think the view and the action you get here will be better than the ones you get, let's say, at the Bellagio grandstands. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to stop it right here because this is really beginning to sound like an Ellis Island commercial. Oh boy. Uh, hey, what up, Nick? If you're watching this. Uh, by the way, guys, no, for real, I always have a good time here. Although, I do get my butt kicked at Blackjack here for one reason or another. It just, I don't know why. It just gets my butt kicked here. But it's all good. The food is good. Service is awesome. Ellis Island, give it a try. Yeah, for reals. I think Ellis Island will be the big winner after this F1 event. Um, you know what? I already have an Ellis Island steak and eggs video, but uh, at this point, I'm gonna make an Ellis Island video that's everything but the steak and eggs, including an Ellis Island room tour. Yeah, they got rooms here, guys. Well, all right. Hopefully, you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please push that like button and comment below. Share us your take on this F1 situation. Or if you have any Vegas related questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Or if you just wanna say hi, say hi. Don't be shy. And please subscribe. By the way, I don't have any F1 tickets, but what do you think guys? Should I head over to Vegas to at least hear the event in person? Huh, maybe. All right, y'all, thank you for watching and please come again. Bye-bye.